Hi folks, we're going to take a look at the uh, Unit 3 Review number 4. Uh, so first thing we'll do is we'll look at the question here. So I'll bring up the question, and it gives us the trajectory of a bird that's going into the water, uh, and the equation describing the motion is given by this here. Uh, now it's always important when it's an application question to know what your uh, variables uh, represent. So here we see B represents the position of the bird relative to the water okay, in centimeters. Often the units are helpful to know uh, which one you need to use. And time is uh, given by T in seconds. So let's take a look at A. It says when is the bird at a height of 100 centimeters above the water? So here are 100 centimeters. Well, that's either a time value or a position value. And since position is given in centimeters, it's going to be a position value. So in our equation, we're going to be replacing B at T by 100. And then from there, we're looking for when this is occurring. So what we're looking for is a time value. So we're given position, we're looking for time. So let's go ahead and solve this here. So for A, I'm going to replace B by 100. Okay, and then what am I left with? 2, 2t two squared minus 44t. Okay, and I'm left with a quadratic equation. So the way to solve a quadratic equation is to use the quadratic formula. So we know we need to have 0 on one side, so I'll move the 100 to the other side of the equation. Okay, so that's going to become minus 100. Okay, and let's now solve. So here we have a equals 2, b equals negative 44, and c equals negative 100. Okay, so let's solve for t using the quadratic formula. So it's negative b, so negative of negative 44. Okay, plus or minus the square root of negative 44 squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, and c, which is negative 100 and all over 2a, so 2 times 2. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate this in small sections. So the first thing we'll do is calculate the uh, uh, interior of the square root. Okay, so here we've got negative 44 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 100. Okay. And we're left with 2736. So here this will become positive 44 plus or minus square root of 2736 all over 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, so now we're going to calculate this uh, in two parts. First we'll do the addition and then the subtraction. Okay, so I'll clear this and first I'll calculate the numerator with the addition. So 44 plus square root of 27. 36 equals, and then I'll divide that by 4, okay, and I get 24, okay, and since it's 0 0.0 seconds, I'll just leave it as 24, although I keep saying we've got to keep two decimal places, so let me do that, so 24.08, or, and the other option now is a subtraction, okay, so 44 minus square root of 27.36, make sure you press equals, and then from there, divide by 4, and I see here that I get negative 2.08. And so right off the bat, I realize that I'm not going to accept the second answer because I'm not interested in negative time. Okay, so when will it reach a height of 100 centimeters? Okay, it will take 24.08, and make sure you put the uh, the units. Okay, seconds. Okay, there we go. We've answered number one. Or sorry, part A. So let's take a look now at part B. We'll bring the question back here. So if we look at part B, it says how long, so again we're looking for time value, is the bird underwater? Now here I'm giving you a little hint. I'm telling you to think about the zeros here. And the reason why I'm saying that, say this is our, you know, our uh, scenario here, which I'll draw in a Cartesian plane. Okay, the bird's coming down. It's going into the water, catching its lunch, and then coming out. Okay? So what I need to determine is when it enters the water. That's going to be st the start of my time. And I also need to know when it's going to come back out of the water. So this dis difference between the two times will be my answer. So in other words, I'm looking for the zeros. So I'm going to have to replace 
position. Okay, in my equation, I'm going to replace the position. I want it to be zero, right at the water. Okay, so what I'm looking for is zero equals two t squared minus forty-four t. Okay. Now here, you can definitely use the quadratic formula. In fact, I'll do it that way because I think that's how most people are going to use, uh, are going to do it. But if you look in these solutions, I also show you how factoring is very, very easy in this uh, type of uh, example. But let's just do a uh, quadratic formula because I think that's how most people will want to do it. So A equals 2, B equals negative 44, and C, since there's no C value, is equal to 0. So T is equal to... Again, negative of negative 44 plus or minus square root negative 44 squared minus uh, 4 times a, which is 2, and c, which is 0. Okay, so we see that this whole expression is just going to disappear. Okay, over 2 times 2. So t is equal to, and let's calculate that. Okay, so here again, what we have is just the negative uh, 44 squared. Okay, let's say you didn't realize that it was going to end up being zero. You can always put it in minus four times two times zero, and it'll all work out. Okay, so here 1936. So we've got 44 plus or minus square root of 1936. Okay, divided by four. Okay. So let's calculate that. We've got 44 plus square root of 1936 equals, it's a nice number, divided by 4. And one of the answers is 22. Okay, and now the other answer here will be 44 minus square root of 1936 equals, ah, and we see that's 0, so divided by 4 still equal to 0. So these are the two times, okay? So this must mean that this graph actually started at the y-axis, okay? So it went into the water at t equals 0, and it came out of the water at t equals 22 seconds, okay? So we can answer the question, it was underwater for 22 seconds. Okay, now let's see what they want in part C. In part C, they say, when is the bird at its deepest underwater? And here we see one of our keywords, something that sounds like a maximum or minimum, because this is like its lowest position. So it looks like we're looking for a minimum. So in this case here, we won't be using the quadratic formula, but we'll be completing the square. Okay. So here, I'm going to start with my function, b of t equals 2t squared minus 44t, and I have to complete the square so that I can find uh, the minimum value. By the way, it makes sense it'll be a minimum since a is equal to a positive number. So here, how do we complete the square? We have to factor out whatever's in front of the t squared, and please remember that you have to factor it out of both of these uh, terms. So I'm going to factor out 2, so I'm left with t squared here, and then negative 44 divided by 2, that's going to be minus 22t. Okay? Now we know that I have to add and subtract the square of half this number, so I'm going to do it all in one step. So I'm going to add half of 22 is 11, so plus 11 squared, and then I have to subtract 11 squared. Okay? Now, it's going to be these first three terms that give me my perfect square of t minus, since there's a subtraction here, there's going to be a subtraction of the bracket, and we always subtract half of the b value, this 11. So t minus 11 squared, and then we're still left with this minus 11 squared. So that's minus 121. Okay? But we still don't have it in vertex form because we have to multiply the 2 to each term in the bracket. So multiply 2 to the first term, so 2 times t minus 11 squared, and 2 times negative 121, so that'll be negative uh, 242. Okay, and I'll go back to my question to see what they're actually asking me for. 
and all they're asking for is when the bird is going to be at its deepest. Okay, so I need the time value. So I see that the time value is going to be 11 when it's at its deepest position. So if they were asking me for the deepest position, I would give negative 242 centimeters. But since they're asking me when, meaning a time value, okay, I can say at 11 seconds, the bird will be at its deepest. Okay, there we go. So let's just do a quick recap here. In part uh, A, they were giving us a position, so I replaced the position by what was given, in this case 100, and I could solve that quadratic equation with the quadratic formula. Okay, in part B, I needed to look at the x-intercepts of the function to answer the question, so I replaced position by zero, and again solved a quadratic equation with the quadratic formula, whereas in part C, I was looking for a minimum value, deepest, so minimum value, uh, and so I completed the square and I used vertex form to be able to answer the question. Okay, so in fact, before you start a question, you should get a sense of whether you're going to use quadratic formula or completing the square. Okay, that's it.